Good day and welcome to episode 80 of our Let's Play of Fallout 3. My name is Turt Dald. Let's get started. On the last episode we decided to uh, clean up the last of our uh, side quests. Uh, went to collect the uh, 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 Declaration of Independence for Abraham Washington at the National Archive. Uh, met a Sydney there who was under siege by some super mutants uh, helped her out uh, uh, she was sent there by Abraham as well we decided to work together I went ahead cleared everything out uh, guided Cindy Sydney down there met a button Gwinnett uh, talked him into uh, making a copy of the uh, Declaration of Independence resolved that peacefully Collected some loots, a few magazines, a couple rares. Uh, returned uh, uh, the uh, declaration back to Abraham. Uh, was rewarded with uh, version 3 of the railway rifle uh, schematic. Um, talked to Sydney again. Uh, talked about her father. Uh, gave her the holotape we got from... Uh, uh, the Statesman Hotel, uh, she rewarded us with a unique weapon, uh, Sydney's Ultra SMG. Uh, and that is what we did last episode. Uh, we're at a bit of a crossroads here. Uh, we are going to continue the uh, main quest. I can go and uh, do this, or uh, we could... Uh, I'm kind of liking the no radio thing, uh, so uh, I might just head to Rivet City and do it that way, uh, and then turn that in last. Probably be one of the last quests I turn in. Let's see if we can get that reward from them too. So to do this, I just need to uh, head to the science lab and see if I can get lost. I've been uh, pretty good this episode, or this walkthrough of not getting lost in Rivet City. Normally I run around like a chicken with their head cut off in here. So basically where we got the bobblehead, oh, she should be here. There she is. Oh, that's Janice. I'm Janice Kaplinski, Chief Botanist. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. Very well. So long. What do you want? Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Wait. How do you know who I am? Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. I'm sorry. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. 
I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where is this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven, determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe, but I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes, your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Let's talk about something else. Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Come on, isn't there anything you can do f to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. Tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? What was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Let's talk about something else. Okay. I'd like to know a bit more about you. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. What is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Well, we might as well ask about Zimmer. What do you know uh, about Zimmer? That man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? Yeah, uh, that's already done. What kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. I have to go now. Good luck.
Okay, so we gotta go to uh, Jefferson Memorial and look for our father. I have a theory that she killed our father and her were having a thing on the side and she killed our mother. Basically, that's my theory. Because uh, a lot of a lot of evidence points towards that, actually. Okay, uh, did I do this wrong again? Oh, here's me getting lost. Here we go. I don't want to go to the Weatherly Hotel. There's a way out of here that's just straight up. This must be it here. We're going to walk down there because uh, there's a couple things I want to clear out along the way. This makes it easier later on. Hey, Greedy Gut sends his regards, I buddy. I need water. guys probably will have uh, respawned. And I just like to clear this out so it's clear for a while. Those guys up there probably respawned. We cleared this out once before when we saved that captor, but they ended up running headlong into them. We're going to clear this out. And uh, wow. Oh, there's a trader on there. They could end up in trouble actually. I'm pretty sure that those guys will respond. These guys for sure will. No? Wow, okay. Who's this traitor? I'd hate to run and then end up in trouble. Like I said, I won't die, but I just hate taking damage for no reason. Goofy damage. It just doesn't. Who is this? Because I'm only missing one to get our reward for. Uh, thing and that's Doc Hoff. Hey there. This is Doc Hoff. Wow. Okay. My investor arrives at last. This line of work doesn't allow for much sentiment, but how could I not offer you some material token of my thanks? In that case here, the gift of health. Rarely given in this day and age, but all too often taken. I gave us seven stim packs. I'm here to buy. Tell me what you need, and maybe I've got your fix. He's got nothing. I am going to sell him some ammo, I guess. could sell him some drugs. What do I got lots of? Lots of right away. Um, I want to keep that for something special. 25 of these. Eleven of those.
take one of these jet back. And eight. Oh, we hit the 50. Thanks. I have to See go now. So we gotta look for some clue as to where our father went. We're gonna clear out the Jefferson Memorial. This fight so much easier to turn this off. Initiates one of nine. Could be immediate. Zero of nine. So it can't be innocence, can't be intricate, it's gotta be hurriedly. Deactivate turrets. Nice. So now I can pad some if I want to. Walk out! Gears play tricks on me again. Make up your mind, buddy. I did not know that. We will be back here eventually. I did not know you could go in here now. I thought that was locked. Okay, weird. Okay. I thought that was locked. I never tried before going in now. We will be back here. Super muties. What are you looking at? Have you found three stuff? I haven't found any. Ever. Maybe it's a lot. Maybe it's the only thing on time. Let me know. Hello. Stupid. Give me a alone. All you do is play. Oh, I'm not talking to you. 
That's a master. They're both masters, eh? Oh boy. Oh, you can go down there now, too? I thought for sure that would be locked. key that's what I thought how did he get down there though well, let's just uh, look around where we want to go is in that rotunda that's where we came in Isn't that a kill? That was a headshot. That should have been a one-shot kill. We'll go in there, we'll go into the rotunda, grab these, uh, there should be a couple of super mutants in there. Yep. Lord. There we go. Look out! I will listen to all the tapes all together. There's a few more tapes uh, in the sub basement.
can't get in there yet. What? I was just wondering. What are you doing? Oh, they're down below, I guess. in here I think I don't want it to get blown to kingdom come oh well I could just kill this guy. I'm sure there's a tape in here and this is where we were born right here there's the lights this is where we were born there's the tapes. Tapes is right here. There's the lights we saw when we were born. We were born right there. There's these rare rakes. Better take that, it's rare. Remember a little more loot in here than what we're getting. But that's my crazy memory. again. Overlord. Away from there! of his meat is floating in the pool there. <laughs> okay, I think we're clear, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, spoke too soon. There's another area in here where Dad was sleeping. I think I went right by it. I must have with another tape and a little bit of loot. Oh, yeah. 
had to open a door to get into it. Wasn't here. Dad was holed up when he left the vault. A couple more tapes. Better days. And no loot. Okay, let's listen to these hollow tapes. Project Purity Journal Entry 1. on these are weird. Uh, Project Purity Personal Journal Journal Entry 2. Yeah, see the numbers are all, so we'll just listen to them. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. Well, so for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, a very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry, since I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my son is a grown man, handsome, intelligent, confident, just like his old man. And as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. Yeah, see, there's two eights. I don't, uh, I guess one is his personal jur journal. Uh, well, five, I guess. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltec facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltec's sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. 
but it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Bruin's involvement in Vault Tech's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Ooh, the Gek again. Uh, seven. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt. Both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere, and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Addison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, she'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. And we'll read 10. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of bronze that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. That's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. And one more, and it's kind of creepy. But you get to hear your mother's voice. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please, I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> so we found the place we were born and the moment we were conceived, I guess. That's the idea there. <laughs> kind of creepy. And so with that, we are off to Vault 112, but we got to find some kind of garage. Smith Casey's garage. But I think we'll go home, drop off some Lutsky, get prepared for the trip. Maybe I'll uh, go to Rivet City, uh, see if I can get some vendors. Let's see if the vendors have respawned. Oops. Oh, she's running up. I meant to go I to Rivet there were City. More people like you. I want you to have it. Okay, something to sell. No. 
Now let's go to Rivet City. Uh, let's grab some grenades. We'll load up. I, don't think we're going well with you I got a ton of grenades. Uh, I'll keep the meat here. I'll just take these grenades. Came at a decent time of day, it looks like. We'll go sell that bill of rights. I need every pound I can get, eh? That's the thing. Because I didn't take the strong back. I went the strong back. That extra 50 pounds Hello. is handy. It's just that's just not the build I play. Some buff Abraham out. here. Maybe a little psycho. There's our stuff we brought. Yes. What brings you by Rivet City today? And well, you can yes. sell your. Uh, yeah. However, be sure and. Oh my! I never expected any. Well, sir. You drive a hard bark. There we go. Now we gain an extra pound. You can sell your Lincoln stuff here. I think I mentioned that already. He pays more than the people at the Temple of the Union. Good to see you. I want the market. See if they respond. Hey. If you want any of this shit, what you? No. I didn't think so, but well, we'll go home and see if there's a vendor. Surprise the vendors have survived. Because they can all die off too. Yeah, we got a vendor. No, no vendor. Oh well. Drop off those grenades. Drop off any loots we picked up, which wasn't much. A lot of 32 rounds. Wow, well, more ammo than I thought. Oh, we can make a blood pack run and a. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And a. Uh, 
66. Oh, I got some miscellaneous. Yeah, let's do a blood pack run. And a uh, sugar bomb run. Welcome home, sir. We'll probably run into some uh, into some uh, talent company. Give us a chance to use a nuke or grenade. Usually they're hanging around here. This should be clear. What's the big idea? So what did you bring? Here, I have all the sugar bombs I've got. Good. Good. There's more out there, so go and find it. Yeah? You got something to say? Are they gonna be here now? Wow, normally they're hanging around here. That's kind of freaking me out that they're not there. And a blood run. This guy's still here, look. Wow. Okay. That's different. different. Guarding an empty fridge. Yeah, there's a vendor in here too. I should have kept those grenades, I guess. Oh well. Or some of them. I couldn't uh, take too many. I was close to wait. Well, what stopped me there? Okay, where's Vance? Come back to the scary vampire lair, have we? <laughs> Always a pleasure to receive. I already did that. Use what Again. <laughs> and let's talk to the vendor. He's not there. I think I walked right by him. What's up? If you're here, so what do you need? Sure. Buy the blood packs and get 10 caps apiece for them. That seems cheesy though.
Oh, he's got nothing. Wow. 382. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Better get this one. Okay, let's go home. I still think I'm heavy. I'm heavier than I should be. Oh well, I'll deal with it. So I am going to rest. Call that an episode. Not much happened, but we are starting the main quest and uh, next one will probably be a bit longer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a good one. Turt Dolled Out. <laughs>